so hey guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to record as well as how to edit your videos using your mobile phone I think this is pretty much incredible it's very portable it is very efficient and it is very easy to use so why not use it yes so if you are interested then definitely do keep on watching no. So before you jump right into editing, you want to make sure that you have clips that you can actually work with. So now that we are done recording and we have clips that we can actually work with, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to actually edit those clips. Yeah, let's. So the app that I would advise you to get would be the Power Director Video Editor app and you can definitely find this in your Play Store or in your App Store and it comes with a free version which allows you to edit any time of the day however you like but with limited features and it also has a watermark attached to it which is something that I hate and that is why I had to upgrade to a quarterly subscription and for that I had to pay 600 naira but guys it is totally worth it. So the good thing about this is that you have a 14 days trial where you can actually see if the product is worth it and play around with it itself. If it's not, you can definitely opt out and ask for a refund, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So moving on, I'm just going to open my video editor folder just to show you guys the various apps that I used to use in editing. And I used to use the video show, I've tried Filmora, Filmora is also very good, it's pretty good, but I definitely would prefer and recommend the power director mainly because it has about 70 percent of the features as the final cup pro on your macbook and i'm addicted to final cup pro so i love that the interface is kind of similar which i'm going to be showing you guys very soon aside from the fact that you have to pay i would definitely recommend this app for you guys so let's go ahead and click on the app so I can show you guys how I edit using this app. So the first thing you want to do when editing the app is to create a new project. Now this is something you're going to be doing even if you're working with your desktop or using Final Cut Pro or iMovie or whatever editing app you're using. You want to create a new project and that is the video you're editing or the video you're trying to produce. Now this is what the first screen you're going to see after the app has loaded. So just click on the movie icon and name your project whatever name you desire or whatever movie or video you're trying to produce. Also make sure that your aspect ratio is on 16 by 9. That is very important. So just press the OK button and that should take you right here. Also press the back button and this would pop up. What I love about this app is that it gives you tutorials as well as teaches you on how to use it so if you are a beginner you definitely will find this very easy to work with and to play around with and it just tells you what each button is for as you go along it just guides you through the editing process so this is what our project looks like it is bare nothing is there so we're just going to go ahead to import all our medias and videos that we're going to be using and to do that just click on that media button right there and here you can import your videos your pictures as well as your sound or music so i'm just going to scan through my videos and import all the videos that i recorded and to do that just click on the video that you need and then press the plus sign the plus is to add and that automatically just adds onto your timeline as you guys can see so now we have four clips that we're going to be working with a total of nine minutes so yeah let's start editing so now just like you would with your phone you can definitely pinch the screen to zoom in or out so that you can see the clips clearly and know how to edit so the pencil like button is your edit tool the blade like button is your split tool to cut the clips and the trash can definitely is to remove and or delete the clips now you can trim your clips easily by dragging the icon on the screen as you guys are seeing right now so the first thing i like to do is to color correct so just click on the edit tool button right there and that will show you various options but we're going to be just editing the color as well as the skin i'm going to click on the skin smoothener i just want to blur out some imperfections because my makeup is definitely not looking its best in this 
moving forward just click on the color button the color tab right there to edit the color and in the color tab you have various effects that you can use but i advise you use this if you are doing like a vlog or you're trying to create like a movie but definitely not a beauty tutorial so just click on the next button below and that would show you the actual like color correction options that you can use so i definitely would want to increase the brightness the contrast as well as the saturation just to make my video look a little bit more lively i'm going to repeat that with the three remaining clips and just keep doing that soften the face smoothen the face increase the color the brightness the contrast do that with my fourth clip and we are done the next thing you want to do is to crop to cut and to trim your clips now if you click on that edit tool button and also click on the crop button as well because i want to crop the clip so it fits into the screen because it looks too far away yeah i'm just going to zoom that in and i think i like it this way no no i still have to adjust it i'm just going to click on it again click on the crop and adjust it till it's perfectly aligned so i'm going to click on that same clip and drag it now the points where i actually press the record button to the points where i'm actually like comfortable to start recording i'm going to delete all that out because nobody wants to see that i'm struggling so yeah hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is kelly chumbemina and this video is a sample video that we're using for our editing practice um tutorial video and, and if you guys are interested then definitely to keep on watching so I'm just going to split this clip right now after I've said keep on watching so I can add my intro so to me? it. That clearly was a pause and I'm supposed to start all over again so for the lipstick, with the continuation of the video. The so I'm also going to trim and drag and that down focus. to where I actually start talking about what I'm doing next. So after splitting the clips, I'm just going to split out the ones that I do not want and also delete it. And delete it. Yes. Now back to the clip where I was saying focus. I'm just going to click on the volume button to mute it down. And now that it's muted, I'm going to be using this shot as my product... Um, shots just to show you guys the product that i'm using and i'm also going to zoom into this product i'm going to click on the edit tool click on the crop and pinch to zoom in perfect and i'm just going to be showing you guys how to apply the lipstick properly on your lips like a professional if you guys are interested then I'm going to split it here and delete the rest because I was trying to turn off the camera recording delete that part so now we have another clip I'm just going to crop that in because it's too much you know I'm supposed to be in focus after cropping that in you also want to trim that so you get to the precise location where you actually start talking or start doing something taking actions so just like i did for the fenty beauty lipstick i'm going to also split this so that i can get like the perfect product shot when it's in focus split that again and zoom that part in Rose. This is like behind the scenes actions. I'm going to still delete that part because it's wasted footage. So I'm going to it's, cut I'm going it to right where I'm 
or right away I started talking and delete all that because it's just a waste. Paint and apply that generously on my so I'm lips going to cut out that part because I, like I was also it. struggling after that. Also, cut it out and delete the part where I was struggling. Perfect. So applying the lipstick took me about a minute, and no one wants to see me or watch me apply lipstick for a minute. So I'm just going to crop out or split it down to where I stopped um, applying the lipstick and increase the speed click on that speed button and increase the speed to fast forward decrease for slow motion so now you guys can see that the clip is a lot faster than it was before which is what we want now this is another clip and i just clicked on the record button and as you guys can see i'm struggling to be in frame and in focus and i'm also struggling to increase the brightness you guys don't need to see all that so i'm just going to move on to the point where i actually start talking split the clip and delete it and i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned how to apply your lipstick properly so thanks for watching my video if you have now thank you and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys so i'm going to trim the clip down to where i said bye guys because you guys don't need to see me like pressing my phone to stop recording So this is another clip and this is the last clip we're going to be editing. This clip is just me playing around with the products, flaunting the look and showing you guys the lips and the product itself. So I'm just going to cut out the parts that I think I like, the sections that I like. I'm going to trim it out or split it out and delete the, point, the parts that I do not like. So I'm just going to scan through the clip. So now I think I've gotten all the clips that I need. I'm just going to delete the remaining excess clip because we're not going to be using this. Just going to select it and delete it. So now we have perfect clips that we need. I'm just going to edit that, reduce all the volume. I should have reduced the volume before um, splitting it. So guys, you definitely want to reduce the volume if you are not talking or if it's just like because sometimes it could give off the background noise and you definitely do not want that. So I'm just going to review the clips to see if I actually like them or if there's anyone I need to trim or delete or cut. So for my intros, I usually just play around with the speed. I usually either increase the speed or decrease the speed. But for this one, I'm going to decrease the speed so that it flows in like slow motion. And it depends on how you want it to look and also the kind of sound you're working with so this one i'm just freestyling i'm just going to reduce the speed so that it's you know it's in slow motion so next up i'm going to be adding transition just to make sure that the clips flow from one clip to another so just click on that broken movie icon and you have various transition options to work with I usually just like to work with fade because it just flows like this you can play it to see what it looks like but I'm going to be using that definitely feel free to try out some other transitions be very creative so all you're just going to do is just to click on any broken movie icon that you can see there 
and then the transitioning options would pop up and then you can select from it by clicking on that add button it's that easy so i'm going to be doing that with the remaining of my clips so just to show you what it looks like when you're transitioning this is what it looks like yes so definitely play around with your options and you know feel free to be creative So next up we want to add effects just to give character to the video and the clips that are included in that video and to add effects all you have to do is just click on that FX button right there and that will give you various options to choose from. You can as well play them to see what they might look like if they are included in your clips but I'm just going to add one just for the sake of this tutorial. And play it so you guys can see what it actually looks like that is what it looks like but I'm going to be cancelling it and to cancel it just press on the FX button that is cancelled and that will take the effect right out of the clip So next up you would want to add overlays or you might want to add overlays you can add videos you can add pictures and you can add sound just like you would do in your Final Cut Pro so just skim through your media and add whatever you want to add but I'm going to be adding my intro and I'm going to be moving that onto the beginning of the video where after I have done like my you know 10 seconds of flaunting the makeup look and paste it right there Next up, I like to add my outro as well, and I just would just add like the outro that I created. And as you guys can see, it has sort of like a pan and zoom effect, which I do not want because I want all my details to be very elaborate. So, all you can do to cancel or add this effect is to click on that edit button, make sure you're clicked onto the picture itself. So you click on the pan and zoom and then these options would show up click on the no effect and that would take that pan and zoom effect out immediately okay and now this is it just the full screen no zooming in or what's not so i'm just going to play around with the overlay and then select that overlay button select the sticker and see the options they have they have the like button which i think is cool because i'm going to be like like my video share so i'm just going to drag that to the end of my video before i do that i'm going to zoom it down Now to add text all you need to also do is to just click on that overlay button click on the text button and that would give you various text formats for you to choose from but since i'm not doing like a serious tutorial i'm just going to click on that text right there and that will just go down to the below that now like i said this app just guides you along the way it shows you what you need to do and how you need to do it so up there you have the text designer and also have the delete button from of which you can delete the 
text if you don't want it or if you don't like it I'm just going to click on that write my name now click on that edit tools click on the text designer and design my text here you can change the color you can change the font size you can change the font um, design you can make it bold italics make it centered So yeah, change the font style, make it bold, and just play around with it. Zoom it out or zoom it in to fit the section you are placing it on. My name is Kelly and this video is a sample video that this video is a sample. That is just perfect. So moving on, I'm going to go ahead to add some images. This is where I usually add like my subscribe buttons. My social media icons any png file or any product um pictures that are available i'm just going to add that to my timeline and this is what it looks like obviously you can't leave it like this you have to drag it to the section that it should be so i'm just going to drag that subscribe button put my social media icon underneath my name and just adjust it to the length and width that i want it to be showing you guys how to now i'm going to place this fenty beauty picture just right beside where i'm trying to show you guys the product so you guys can see like a clearer picture of it definitely use a png file so that it's more transparent you don't get like the white background i forgot to do that or you should do that if you're doing like a serious tutorial now that i've done that i'm just going to drag that subscribe button down to the end and put it underneath where i'm saying subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching my video if you haven't subscribed subscribe perfect so i'm just going to zoom it out and zoom it in so like i get like that perfect size and then place it right where i want now, it to be placed you, here. I'll see you guys in my next one. so i'm going to add bye another bye. overlay but i'm going to add in bye. a color board because i want to add text to it i'm going to add a color board and i'm going to drag that to the area before i apply the lipstick now i'm going to also add a text as well I want something very flashy I'm gonna be using the most colorful text that there is I name it how to apply lipstick this just ask as my title now feel free to change your style feel free to design it but I'm just doing basic things right here there's like a basic level so feel free to upgrade and do something better when you're editing yours. Also zoom in and zoom out to get like the perfect size. And there you go. Now to add music or sound, also go to the media bar, music, or you can just go to the overlay wherever you want to go to. You can press the play button to hear what the song sounds like, know how it mixes or syncs with your video. And same thing, press the plus button to add. Now I'm just going to cut, split that clip right where my intro begins and drag it to right where I start talking. I'm also going to be reducing the volume because I don't want it to overshadow my voice. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Kelly Chamber. I'm also going to be you know trimming it down trimming it out and deleting the excess so guys we are literally done with this tutorial How easy it was it? so all you have to do next is to review your project to know if 
there's any corrections you'd like to make or any error just review your project take your time and do that finally the last step is to export or share your project to do that press that button right there now what you want to do is to produce the video and not to save the video project if you're saving a project it means you're saving it for later to produce a video you're producing you're producing it right now now click on the produce button and this would pop up you can either save this in your SD card share it on Facebook share it directly to YouTube whatever you're doing you can do it so I'm going to be saving it to my gallery and I'm just going to click on that produce button and that will just produce by itself so just wait for it to load it might take a couple of minutes depending on the size of your clips and your video and the quality as well now that it's completed you can either play now or just press the ok button so here it is here's our video i'm just going to play it for you so you guys can see the video that we have created yeah go go break this baby <laughs> No. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly Chimbemna and this video is a sample video that we're using for our editing practice. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly apply your lipstick like a pro. And if you guys are interested, then definitely do keep on watching. So for the lipstick that we're going to be using, this is the Fenty Beauty lipstick. And I'm just going to be showing you guys how to apply your lipstick properly on your lips like a professional. If you guys are interested, then definitely do. So first of all, before you start applying the lipstick, you want to make sure that your lips are properly moisturized. And for that, I'm using this Nivea Soft Rose. Wow. I'm just going to apply that on my lips as well. So now that I have moisturized my lips, I'm going to go ahead with my lip paint and apply that generously on my lips because I like my lips really pigmented. I'm just going to let this dry up for a second or two and I'll be back. So hey guys, so that is the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned how to apply your lipstick properly. So thanks for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Bye now. Thank you and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Guys, that is basically how to edit your videos using your mobile phone. It is very easy, it is very portable, it's very efficient, and it's you know something you can do and practice on a daily basis. And if the first time doesn't work out for you, make sure you keep on practicing. And also, if this video was helpful, definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know. You know, by giving me a thumbs up and also if you have suggestions or if you still have questions just leave all that down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help if I can and if you haven't yet subscribe like share comment and bye guys